Look, they're not all gonna be winners. So I did my most anticipated movies of 2019. I gotta do the flip side. I gotta talk about the movies coming out in this year that I'm pretty sure are gonna suck. At least in terms of what I like. Now I wanna be very clear about a couple things before I get into these movies. The first is, I don't want any of these to stink. I just believe that they will. So that's the first thing. I'm not actively rooting against any of these. I just don't think they'll be good. Um, and if they are good, that'll be an awesome surprise. I don't think they will be, though. And secondly, when I say I believe these will suck, I mean they will suck to my tastes and my preferences and what I like. If the reasons that I cite for why I think this thing is going to stink don't apply to you, you are not under any obligation to think these are going to stink. These are This is my gauge of my own enjoyment. And I don't think I'm going to enjoy any of these. So I don't have a full 10 uh, for this list. Um, partially because I wanted to be fair and try and limit it to stuff that I, I felt really solid and could give reasons. Because, like, there were films coming out in the latter half of the year that, like, we don't know anything about yet that I, I could rail on if I was being mean-spirited. And also there were films that, like, just flat out aren't made for me. Like, there's a there's plenty of romantic comedies or, you know, gory horror movies or things that, like, I don't especially enjoy those kinds of things in the first place. Why would I rag on it? I don't have a dog in that race. So I'm not dealing with any of that. This is movies that theoretically should appeal to me, given my fandoms and my interests, but I still think they're going to suck. So, um, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do this list the same way I did my most anticipated, which is I'm not ranking them, but I'm going to do them in the order of release, starting with what's coming out first or what's coming out latest in the year. So, first up, Jacob's Ladder. Yeah, did you know there's a Jacob Jacob's Ladder remake? It's coming out in February, supposedly. I couldn't find a trailer. It's, coming, it's supposed to come out next month, and I couldn't find a trailer. Like, and, and it's been finished for over a year. Like, uh, this entire thing stinks of a studio under contract to release it theatrically, but is doing it for no reason other than to fill that contractual obligation. There's been zero promotion, zero anything to judge this on and this close to the supposed release date holy cow oh man i mean aside from the fact that like why would you try and remake jacob's ladder i mean talk about it talk about a, a product of its time in terms of the 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 feel and the vibe and also you know that sort of weird twisty th like we twist movies don't work well as remakes like it's a bad idea in the first place and then everything sets off a red flag about this next up one that I know other people are looking forward to, and if you are, fine, and if you like it even better, I'm not gonna watch it, and I think it'll suck, and that's Dumbo. I've got my issues with the Disney live action remakes of their animated films in the first place. I've talked about it before, I won't bring that end of it up again, but I look at this one particularly, and I'm like, Dumbo's one of the shortest things they made. How painful is the padding going to be? And then I see the trailer and I go, oh, they're going to beef up the humans story. They're going to pad it out by the same philosophy of how they padded out the Transformers and the, uh, the more recent Ninja Turtles movies to not make it actually about the characters in the title that we're all there to see. Make it about their human friends who nobody gives a crap about. And can we just... I'm not going to say don't have Tim Burton direct stuff anymore, but can we stop having him direct remakes and, like, really specific adaptations of, like, it... Get the guy on on the original stuff again. Or stuff that isn't, like, tied to a, a well-established existing vision, because all you're doing is Tim Burtoning up an existing thing, and, like, no. That just devalues everything involved. All right, next up, a movie that made my list last year, but didn't come out because it got bumped, Dark Phoenix. 
<laughs> boy, oh boy. Yes, because I'm sure being delayed a year and massively reshot suddenly means it's got to be great. No, it's not. I like, I... For purely academic purposes, I would be really curious to see the cut that was going to be released last year and compared to the one that's going to be coming out this year, if only to find out the different ways in which they suck, because I expect they both suck. I'm pretty sure that the um, reshoots were only done in order to make it a firm ending for the X, for the Fox X-Men films so that that is con that book is considered closed when di when the merger finally finishes up and Marvel is allowed to use the X-Men characters themselves again but I've got an existing video up from oh my god like a year and a half ago and that explaining why it's going to suck and I still stand by every single word of that so you want details it's right there but oh man Next up after that, Terminator 6. Why is anyone making Terminator movies? I understand that it's still a brand recognized name, but there has literally never been a good Terminator movie since 1991. And even that one's not as good as the original. Yeah, you heard me. But it was still at least good. And it expanded things as opposed to trying to recapture something that came before, which is what every single one of them has done since then. And you, we've tried every iteration of this already. They don't work. We tried basically remaking T2 again with an older version of John Connor with the, with the Rise of the Machines. That didn't work. We tried finally showing the, the future war between humanity and the machines with what... Revelation, Redemption, Red, whoever, whatever the heck the subtitle was, what the one with Christian Bale, that didn't work. We tried doing alternate timeline and basically completely messing with time travel to be able to fracture off and do a whole other thing with Genesis. That didn't work. When do we stop? When can you, when, who, when whoever owns the property, when can you admit defeat? These don't work. And I know James Cameron's actually involved someone in this one. I don't care. There's nothing left to be squeezed out of this property that's of any value. Please just stop. Next up, this one hurt to put on this list because this was also on my list last year, but not my movies that I thought was gonna suck. This was on my most anticipated movies list of last year. And now, I can't help but expect it to suck, given what's going on. That's New Mutants. Yeah! Remember that? The horror-looking X-Men-related film that a trailer dropped out of nowhere, and we all were kind of like, Whoa! This is different and cool! And then they pushed the movie out a year, and of course, I'm putting it on this list, assuming it even gets released. Like, it, it really is feeling like if Dark Phoenix bombs hard enough that they'll just shelve this. I hope it's good, but a movie getting delayed a year is not something that is gonna engender a lot of hope in me. And I don't know as much about the details of the reshoots on this as I do with, say, Dark Phoenix, but, like, that doesn't bode well either because the word, as we as uh, I've come to, uh, to understand it since that trailer came out, was that the trailer was something that the trailer company put together based off the footage they had access to and was not actually representative of the finished film. And that a part of the reach again, this is my understanding. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. But then the reshoots of the film were done to make the film more in line with the trailer that was already released. And why does this sound so familiar? Oh, right, Suicide Squad. <sighs> Just move on. Okay, this next one is the one that I am pretty sure I'm gonna get the harshest pushback on. And I'm really going to have to explain my own reasonings for this. It, Chapter 2. There's a two-factor contribution for why this is on my list. The first is, I didn't really like It that much. I seem to be the only person on the planet who didn't really like it as much. I didn't hate it, to be clear. It, I mean, it didn't, you know, it didn't even come close to getting, like, a dishonorable mention. Worst movie I saw that year or anything, but... 
I just didn't care for it. I mean, it was okay. I thought it was kind of lazy in a lot of ways. It, it was not as inventive as I wanted to be. The child actors were great. Like, all props to that, but it just it didn't work for me. And the reason that this, the follow-up, is on this list is because everyone who I know, who knows the book really well and knows the source material, is very open about the fact that all of the best stuff from the book is what they used in the first movie. All the stuff with the kids as adults, all the additional material they're going to be pulling from to make the second movie out of is the weaker material. Like, I don't know anyone who doesn't feel that way, who is familiar with the original book. So when you are doing a sequel to a movie that I was only kind of met on and you're making it out of the material that's not as good and inherently there's going to be very, very little of the one major thing that I like from the first one, which is the kids. I know they're bringing them back a little bit, but like they can't be the main focus because we've got the adults now. Yeah, I don't see any reason that I'm going to like this at all. Next up, another one that kind of hurts to put on here, and but uh, I'm still ticked and I'm putting it on here anyway. Kingsman 3. And I know it's a prequel, so, you know, it won't involve the any of the actors or the storylines that have been done up to this point, but I... I really hated The Golden Circle, the second Kingsman movie. It 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 is up there with Ghostbusters 2 and Men in Black 2 as I honestly think one of the worst sequels made. I really hated it. And that's not to say there's absolutely nothing good in it. There are good moments, there are good bits, there are good performances, but as a film, as a whole, I really couldn't stand it. I might have not put this on the list. I might have given it a pass or benefit of the doubt if Matthew Vaughn wasn't directing it. Because I feel that Kingsman the Golden Circle is the very first legitimately not good movie Matthew Vaughn has ever directed. And it doesn't make me want to see him go back to that well. I would rather that he produced it and they got a director, you know, somebody else to, to come in and he and, you know, Vaughn could guide it, but like, go off and do something else, dude. You nosedived on this property. Let somebody else do it. So, um, yeah. I love the original Kingsman. I'm now looking forward to this. And finally, Shaft. Or uh, possibly Son of Shaft, uh, as it's probably going to be known in some territories. Yeah, did you know that this was happening? So it's not a it's not another attempt to remake the 70s class black exploitation classic Shaft. It is an attempt to continue it, which technically the 2001 with Samuel Jackson was too. So actually it shouldn't even be son of Shaft. It should be son of nephew of Shaft because they are bringing back Richard Roundtree and Samuel L. Jackson as original and updated chef. And now we have, in addition to that, the guy who played the Will Smith's kid in the last, in the second Independence Day. I don't know the, the guy's work. I don't want to judge him too harshly, but I can't help but feel that he's suffering from that boy. Uh, studios and agents thought you were going to be a big thing. You're not. Um, kind of a similar thing that uh, Sam Worthington and uh, and Jai Courtney went through. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? I just... Oh, and nothing against, honestly, either version of Shaft. They both had... There was both some fun to be had, but... Like, taking it... I'm not going to be able to take it seriously, and they... I mean, they could try and parody it a bit more, but, like, there's too many good things out there that parody this kind of thing already or have done in the last few years. And, yeah, I just... This this is one of those cases of, like, somebody had the property rights and they wanted to do something with it. This This was the best they had. And that's terrifying. And that's my list! Eight movies coming out in 2019 that I think are going to suck. Uh, what movies coming out do you think 
are not going to be very good at all. Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. A whole bunch of stuff you can do because there's buttons and there's links and there's all sorts of stuff that you can click down there. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to support uh, me and this kind of content. Um, but there's other links as well. Check them out if you want. If you don't want to, that's okay. Because at the end of the day, you're the council and I just run the meetings. And until next time, this council is adjourned.